one. Oh, I've had a rough few days. Zanny went and got the surgery to get her um, bumps cut off. And um, she looks horrible. She's got, like, she's thick because she's a long-haired cat. Her hair is thick. And she's got places that are huge that are shaved. <clears throat> and, which is fine with me. I mean, um, but I don't really think she likes it. Of course, I wouldn't either. Um, but she has been having diarrhea every day since then. So, they told me to give her Pepto-Bismol. That didn't work very good. I gave it to her through a little syringe thing, and uh, she just started shaking her head, and it was going everywhere. Because I couldn't pull the scruff fully, because she has a place back there on her scruff that's been cut. So, or I mean shaved. So I only had like this much scruff to get and it didn't work. So she started shaking her head. Pepto's going everywhere. Uh, it's all over her face. Um, she started frothing at the mouth. So then she kept, usually when they throw up, they start going like their tongue comes out this long. And <clears throat> not when they're going to do a hairball. It's when they're going to throw up. Or she does that. I don't know about all cats. She's my first cat other than Clyde. But, um, so, I'm not doing that again. So I'm just hoping she got enough of this dose that it'll help a little bit. Because she... I gave her, well, I've given her water. She hasn't touched her food. I gave her about that much tuna to see if she would eat it. And she ate just a couple licks and that's it. And I know she's been through a traumatic thing because she has. Um, and, oh my gosh, when I went to pick her up, whoo, she was mad at them because one of the girls name is Shay and um, she brought she went and got her and brought her back to me and uh, <clears throat> she <laughs> she had to take a towel now mind you Zanny only has her teeth for defense because I had her all four declawed don't scream at me I already know I didn't know what they did back then. Uh, I thought they only plucked their nails out. It's what I thought. I thought, Psh, I'm sure I'll do all four because she was climbing up me. And my body already hurt and I didn't want to get rid of her because she was my baby. So, <clears throat> anyway... That happened years ago. She's 13, and it happened when she was nine months. <clears throat> and I had no idea until a few years ago what they did. So, yes, I live with that every day. Yes, I will never, or no, I will never do that again. Uh, I've, no matter what anyone can say, I have said a hundred times worse to myself. So anyway, <clears throat> back to her mouth is her own defense. Shay had to put her in a towel because she couldn't pick her up. Zanny was biting. So she got Zanny in the carrier. She brought her in and set her on the bench while I was checking out. And, um... She looked down and said, bye, Zanny. And Zanny was like, Argh. 
you know, I mean, she, you could tell she was just fed up with them, which I can understand. She doesn't like Dr. Bricker anyway. <clears throat> when he comes in the room, she runs under the, the bench thing that's in there. It's funny. I mean, I feel bad for her because I don't like the doctor either, but she doesn't know why she's going. You know, it's like taking an infant to the doctor, <clears throat> and they don't know what's happening. So anyway, she's at home with me, and I'm hoping she starts to get a little better. Right now, she's in her little cat tree that she can climb up. Because, see, I can't get her one of the ones that are high up because, <coughs> sorry, because she, <coughs> I have allergies really bad today, let's just say that. Um, she can't jump and catch on with her claws at one of the top ones. So I had to get something to where she could just step up and like have steps up to where she wants to be which is what I got and she loves it she already broke one of them now that's another thing she two years ago she was 15 pounds and now she is almost 11 pounds so she's lost quite a bit for a cat that's why I wanted him to do the hyperthyroid check, which she does not have. Thank God she's right in the middle. It's perfect. Um, yeah, so, um, when you look at your baby that's just had surgery, and you want to make everything better and you know you can't and I mean the people that I've showed her to them um, it's sad to see her like that and then one girl said that she didn't like the way they stitched it up uh, I don't know how else you can stitch it it looks like stitches in all those places there's four places and the incisions probably this long in each one and it's stitched over I didn't see I mean they look like stitches like normal if I were to have stitches <clears throat> so anyway uh, someone's gonna always always say something that is the truth um, sorry I was seeing what time it was and <coughs> I've been so <coughs> sorry. I really am sorry about that I hope it stops and I don't do it the rest of the video um, I talked to the vet and he wants me to start feeding her science diet. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. So, me and my friend went to the pet store yesterday. Now, I could buy it from them, but it would be even more expensive there. She hasn't got on the prescription type yet, thank God. I can at least go <clears throat> and get it at the pet store. But for 3.5 pounds, it's $22 and something. So I got one yesterday. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a bit stressed. But... <clears throat> You know, I've got to get litter soon, and um, the bill is scrumptious, but, uh, you know, luckily enough, they're really good to me, luckily enough. I 
praise them every time I'm there. You know, I'm just like, you guys have my heart, you know. So they know. Um, but I, uh, I just thank God, right? They sent the bumps to Purdue, which is, I'm sure everyone's heard of Purdue, the college. Um, I think that's the closest vet school, or there's a part of a vet school there, whatever. Um, so they're going to have them tested there, and then we'll know if she has cancer or not. Because when he came in and looked at me and said, we have to get him off there, he was worried. So, yeah, I trust her in his hands any day. Of course, I was scared when she had surgery because things can go wrong. That is a fact. It can, or they can. But I trust I trust him. There's only certain people that I would trust with her. And that's, <clears throat> you know, uh, if I'm going somewhere for a couple days, like if I go visit Stacy, there's only two people that I would trust in my house with my baby. Two people. Uh... And it's sad to say that when I have quite a few friends, but two people. So, and uh, they both are awesome people. Uh, what else is going on? Um, I haven't brushed my hair this morning yet. And look, it's looking so gray. So gray. I'm trying to think. I'm afraid to use coloring on it because with having lupus, that's why and thyroid disease. That's why my hair's so thin. I mean, it's thin. And sorry, yeah, it's not brushed, but it's very thin. My hair used to be extremely thick, but I I don't know. I don't know about putting, I don't know, <clears throat> about hair dye, you know? Uh, I mean, I did get, like, this done purple a long time ago, and pink up here a long time ago, but as far as, like, getting it colored blonde or uh, light brown or whatever, <clears throat> I don't know if I'll do that or not. I mean, I've always said if I'm going to go out gray, I might as well just do it full-blown. But mine are kind of sparkly silverish. Yeah, it's funny. Well, I can't believe it's 13, 13, almost 14 minutes already. Wow. But anyway... <clears throat> I do have the P.O. Box. Uh, I didn't know if you guys saw that because uh, a few people were asking me if I had it yet. So, that's up on my page. And, um, yes, it is $2.89. So, um, I think that's all I need to say because it's about time for me to go. I love you all. Bye, everyone. Please pray for Zanny and the results. Love you.